Hello, AC. I am Miss Modi from the Campus Ministry Office. And today, we want to launch our series of Liturgical Catechism. What is Liturgical Catechism? Basically, they are short sessions breaking down the different parts of the liturgy so that we can understand what we mean when we do certain actions and say certain words in the Mass. Our Mother Church says that the Eucharist is the source and summit of our Christian life. Unless we understand what the entire celebration is all about, that saying will never be true in our faith life. It is our hope that as we understand better, we can engage more of you to fully, actively, and consciously participate in the celebration of the Eucharist, whether online or face-to-face. -face. This year, as we celebrate 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, let us rediscover the legacy of our faith as Filipino Catholics na may tatak assumptionista. On February 17, Ash Wednesday, we enter into the season of Lent, a time graced for examination of one's faithfulness to the call to live as children of the loving God and how much we need the mercy of God to do so. Today, we focus on the Kyrie and Penitential Act, which are parts of the introductory rites of the Mass. When you go to Mass on Ash Wednesday, you will notice that the Penitential Act, or Confitior, is omitted to give way to the distribution of ashes, which is another way of reminding us of our call to repentance and conversion. Lord, have mercy. After the greeting and the brief introduction, it is now time to acknowledge our dependence on the gracious and merciful God by asking our Lord Jesus Christ to have mercy on us. This part of the introductory rites is called the Penitential Act. We take a look on the change made in the Confitier. The Latin mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa is translated in 1973 as I have sinned through my own fault, while the exact translation is I have sinned through my own fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have... During the recitation of this line, one must strike his own breast to show that he is sorry for the sins he committed and his hope for God's mercy. Through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. There are some who feel they do not deserve to receive Jesus in communion because they have failed to go to confession. The Penitential Act allows us to repent from our sins beg for God's mercy, and receive His forgiveness that we may freely receive Jesus and be reunited with Him once again. Let us not allow our sense of sinfulness or unworthiness to prevent us from receiving Jesus. He desires to be in union with us so that what once was broken by sin be made whole again. 